If Word sees issues within your document that has to do with spelling, grammar, or context, it'll underline them with squiggly marks and they'll be color coordinated. So if you see a red squiggly, it's for spelling, green is for grammar, and blue is for context. You can see up here, my title has a green squiggly, so Word considers that to be a grammatical error. So you can go ahead and right click on it and get some information about it, and if it had any suggestions, it would give it to you right here. It doesn't really, it just says, well, we think it's a fragment, go ahead and consider revising. If not, and you want to get rid of that green squiggly, you can ignore it once, and what that does is that, well, for this session it's okay, but the next time you open it back up, the green squiggly will be back. Let's go ahead and continue on by scrolling down our documents, see if we find any other issues. And there we go, a red squiggly. Again, that's for uh, spelling issues. So let's see. Again, you have a better chance of getting a pure oil. So let's go ahead and right click and see if we get any suggestions, and we do. Pure. Go ahead and left click on that, fixes it. We can go and move to the next issue. And then we have lemon, and scrolling down, we have. Melaleuca, uh, Vetiver, in any case, you can imagine if you had hundreds of pages of uh, spelling, grammatical, or context issues, how difficult that could be if you have to scroll through each page. I'll show you a shortcut in just a minute, but the last thing I want to cover is a context error. For example, let me click below here, hit enter a couple of times, and then type in the sentence. Okay, what's wrong with this sentence? Well, it's the use of the word pair. Because it's not spelled, when it's within the context of this uh, sentence, P-E-A-R. That's a fruit. It's got to be P-A-I-R. So you can see the blue squiggly underneath that word there. Let's go ahead and right click on it. And there it is. Go ahead and left click to change it and we're good to go. So now we know and we've seen the three different color squigglies if Word finds a spelling, grammatical, or context issue throughout your document. Now the shortcut to this, let me go ahead and hit the control home key, is to come up here and click on the review tab, go to the proofing group and click on spelling and grammar. And what it does is it'll go through and find those errors for you so you don't have to like squint your eyes to spot a red squiggly green one or a blue one. It'll go right to it. Or, as you see when I hover over it, the shortcut key is F7. So if you're not on the review tab, I'm on the home tab, instead of moving my mouse way up here clicking on the review, just leave it there, hit the F7 key on the keyboard, and it brings up the uh, spelling and grammar check window, okay? Takes me to the first issue, which, which is in red, a spelling issue. And it says, okay, what oil is this for laxative, antiseptic, and anti-cancer? Suggestion is, well, I think it's a lemon. Go ahead and select it, click change. Changes it, moves to the next issue here, Melaleuca. It has no suggestions, and if it was spelled correctly, then what I could do is I can either ignore it, and you got two options. You can ignore it once, or if there's more Melaleuca throughout the document, you know, let's say we have 25 of these within the document, you can ignore all of them, otherwise it'll ignore this once go to the next Melaleuca, then you have to hit ignore again and just do ignore all in case if there's many Melaleucas throughout the document or better yet, if it is spelled correctly, go ahead and click add to dictionary. When you do that, it no longer sees it as misspelled. There's Vetiver, let's go ahead and add it to the dictionary and we're done. Click okie dokie and you can see when I scroll down to the bottom here, Vetiver is no longer considered misspelled because again it was added to the dictionary. You want to watch my custom dictionary training videos, so if you made a mistake of adding something to the dictionary, or you want to add more things to the dictionary, I'll go ahead and show you where that's at in that training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.